everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be my Sephora VIB haul. As you can see, I did place an order actually more than one and I decided to share the products that I got with you. I will be including a little bit of swatching too and first impressions. Some of them are actually repurchased products I just needed to get again and with 20% off. Why not now, right? So the VIB sales ends on the 16th of November. So on Monday, you will see this video before that. So no worries, you can still get those products with 20% off if you are a VIB. So let me start with one of the things I'm the most excited about. I actually decided last minute to apply it to my eyes even though I was already wearing makeup. So it's a little, but you know, I was super excited with the colors and I'm talking about the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the self-made palette, which is my first time getting a palette from her and I've heard amazing things about the quality of the eyeshadows and I'm not disappointed so far. First impression, obviously. This is what the packaging looks like. I kind of like it actually. It's very sleek, very chic. And the colors inside, that's what made me want this palette so much. I just felt like I needed some of these colors in my life, especially this one, Deep Purple, that I'm currently wearing on my lower lashes. I love the color so much. Whenever I want to wear bright colors, I always go towards purples, but I feel like purpley blues are just amazing. So I love this color. Also, I was really excited with pink champagne. I did apply it all over my lid, lid, <laughs> all over my lid, which I have to say, there's a lot of fallout with this one. So I would suggest doing your eyeshadow first if you are gonna wear this eyeshadow because I feel like I can see a few speck of glitter all over my face right now. So just be careful with this one. It's more of a glitter than a uh, through just shimmer. And I'm wearing a little bit of the hot chocolate in my uh, out of V. So, so far very impressed. They are super pigmented, like, look at this. This is amazing. So those are the colors that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. So this is the pink champagne, the deep purple, and the hot chocolate, and they're incredible. I actually really, really like the matte formula, which usually is what uh, companies in general have trouble with, but this one is actually very impressive. So as you can see, they're actually very pigmented. So really great pigmentation so far. I like them. Obviously, I need to try them more than once, but let me know if you want to see a tutorial using them and which colors you're interested. I think I would do a look with the deep purple just because it's so different. And now there's glitter all over my arm. I wasn't joking when I said there's a lot of fallout. It does come with the duo ended brush. Usually I don't use those brushes, but I actually could see myself use them. So honestly, if you were interested in this palette, I think it's a great purchase. I did repurchase uh, something from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got the Brow Wiz in the color medium brown. Mine is like running low on it. Like I usually like just turn it up just to see like how much is there left. And I feel like I'm afraid I'm gonna be like without it at one point. So I decided to get a backup, 20% off. That's the perfect time to get backup. Something else that I needed a backup because I only have travel sizes left of this product. This is the Clarins Hydra Quench Cream Mask. This is for dehydrated skin. And this is like my favorite moisturizing uh, mask. I feel like it's not too thick. I can sleep with this and it just works perfectly on me. This is my all time favorite mask that is moisturizing for skin. It's just perfect. It does smell uh, pretty fresh. I actually really enjoy the scent. Actually, the first time I've ever purchased this was because I was at the Clarins uh, boot and I just tried it on one hand and later on during the night, uh, I was touching my hand, I'm like, why is this one so much softer than the other one? And I realized I applied this product and ever since I've just been in love with it. So every time someone is like, what mask do you recommend for like dehydrated skin? Not necessarily just dry, but even if you have like oily skin, but you have dry patches, this is just my baby. And I only have like one sample sizes left. So I decided time to get into the full size. I got two more mitt. These are from the uh, Central Pay line. These are great. I always purchase them, but they're like around $7 Canadian. So 20% off might as well. I have quite a few lip products, so I'm just gonna finish a few more things before going there. I purchased the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in black. This is my holy grail eyeliner. Every time someone asks me, okay, I don't mind the price, I just want the best eyeliner you've ever tried. What are you doing here? I always mention this eyeliner. This is my holy grail one. I always, well, it's actually my second time purchasing it. I wanted to try something else, like a few more different ones before I repurchased. And honestly, I just, I was missing it. So I decided to purchase it again. It is a felt tip liner, so it's not a brush. I like that it's long enough that it is easy to use, but it's not too like, uh, yeah, it's not too long either. It is super black. Let me do a little line so you can see it. It's not the blackest I've ever tried, but it is a good black liner. Wow, my skin just went crazy with this. <laughs> 
My only complaint with this, because it lasts all day, doesn't transfer, it is waterproof. My only complaint is that it is not a matte finish. This is the only thing that is bad about it. The last one I used lasted me like around nine months and it was still working. There was still like liquid in there, but I felt like the tip, oops, the tip was starting to be like a little flimsy. That's it. That was my only complaint. The flimsiness after nine months, which just means you need a new one. And the fact that it is not matte. So as you can see, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but there's a little bit of a sheen to it. So only complaint, still repurchasing it, still thinking this is my holy grail and I've tried quite a few since, but still the holy grail one. I did repurchase something. I had the sample size, the deluxe sample size of the uh, Kat Von D tattoo liner. This one is in Trooper, which is the dark black. <sighs> I have a love hate relationship with this one. At least I did with the uh, deluxe sample size, just because it is super, super black. It is a little bit more matte than the Stila one. It is a brush tip. And I feel like it is the most precise eyeliner I've ever tried. I feel like it, this is amazing, but because possibly because it's a brush, I feel like sometimes when you go back, if the tip isn't super, super wet, it skips and it just takes off parts of the eyeliner you already applied. And throughout the day, sometimes I go back and I'm like, Where's my eyeliner? Like there's parts that are just missing that just disappeared on me. I'm not sure if it's flaking or just disappearing. I don't know. So I decided maybe it's a sample size. I'm gonna try it again and yeah. It applies very well. This is the bottom one. It seems a little bit darker, but not a huge difference. It's just the application. It's very different because this one is a brush. It's super precise. I love using this in the inner corner, especially, or if I want a really, really sharp eyeliner, this is great. But again, I can't use this on its own. I use a deluxe sample size just for my inner corner and just to prepare a line. We'll see if this full size is better or not. And then I will be able to do like a group review of like 10 different eyeliner and let you know which one is the best, which is probably the still one, just saying, but I'm testing it out, the, giving it another shot. One brand that is not mentioned enough on YouTube and it's actually a Canadian brand and it is Bite Beauty. Every Christmas they come out with those duo ended lipstick. They are a great price. You get two different colors and you get actually a good amount of product, but mostly, for me personally, it's just that I have so many lipsticks that I don't necessarily need a full size, but getting two colors is more important to me. They're actually very durable, as you can see. This is what the packaging looks like, and you get two colors. The formula reminds me a little bit of the uh, NARS Audacious lipstick. It's a little bit thicker. So as you can see, two different colors. Actually, I should have told you. Um, don't remember, this one is uh, Tenay, and this one is Holy. So as you can see, you get a good amount of product still. It will take you a little while to use it up. The formula, like I said, reminds me of the NARS ones. So I mean, they do transfer when you kiss, when you drink, when you eat, but I feel like it stains your lips. So it ends up lasting pretty much the whole day. They're very comfortable. They are moisturizing. So if you don't like drying lipsticks, those are perfect. Actually, let me show you some of the other colors. Um, yeah. So if you like them, I would like hurry up and like order the ones that are still because I know in store they only had like one color left in my store. So recommend trying these. They are incredible. Let me at least swatch one so you can see the pigmentation. This one is the color uh, Mulberry and the color Scarlet. So let me show you. This one is Scarlet, so super vampy shade. Considering it's the first swatch ever of it, it's actually very dark. So look at this. This is a great color. And like I said, the other one is Mulberry. And this one is Mulberry. How pretty are these? I feel like they look similar on camera, but it's probably just my lighting. I wanna mention the one I'm wearing because I'm sure I'm gonna get the question. It's actually one that I will have to go and try to exchange just because I had a little accident apparently when it came. So that's what happened to me. I guess someone opened it and just smashed it, which why would you do that? But I'm wearing the color Latte, which is just an amazing nude color. They're super creamy. They smell kind of fruity and they are edible by the way. So if you were wondering, and this one was the last one, just because I'm probably going to do a lip swatch video with these, but I just want to show you how stunning the colors are. Like this is like neon orange. Like this is putting like Mac orange to shame. Like this is intense. Like, wow. And it's like super natural brand. Like cruelty free and it's Canadian so oh yeah this one is so moisturizing Faction so the bright pink they are stunning honestly if you haven't tried any of the early product I recommend these because they are very affordable and you get two colors 
who doesn't want that, right? Then there's one thing, I've received so many questions and I decided, what the heck, I'm gonna test it out on myself. What is my favorite oil base, like lipstick? So I splurged, I'm very excited. It's my first product from YSL and it is this baby, like, it feels so luxurious, like, I can't believe I purchased something from YSL. This is the Volupte Tint in Oil in number four, which is I Rose You. So these are supposed to be very moisturizing, just give you like a tinted lip balm, but like on an other level, like it's oil one. This is what it looks like. They're not very pigmented, so just FYI, because I haven't swatched it, but I'm sure it's gonna be very, it's almost a little sticky, actually, first impression. And I'm guessing it's, can be just that color. That is very, 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 very sheer. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna think of this. Kind of smell a mix of perfume and like fruity, like orangey. We'll see what I think. I will be testing uh, this out and let you know if it's worth the money in my opinion or not because personally on my pigmented lips, I don't even think this pink is gonna show up. Just putting that one out there for some impression. If you have like really uh, pale lips, this might work for you though. And I wanted to test out these two formula from Sephora. I did get brighter shades, but the uh, YSL one, they did not have a lot of like choices color-wise. So let me try this. I found my tweezers this time so I can open everything. <laughs> the first one I want to mention is this one. This is the Sephora Oil Infusion. And this one is the color Fresh Berries, which is number 10. So I'm not sure if this one is going to be more pigmented. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. Let me swatch this next to the other one. So it's still a sheer one. I feel like it's not as sticky, but it's still more pi more pigmented. So I feel like it's gonna might might work a little bit better on my lips. The last one is the Sephora Rouge Infusion in the color five, which is Fuchsia Fuchsia Concentrate. Okay. Again, it's supposed to like hink your lips. That's what they say on the packaging. So I'm guessing again, it's like a tinted. Whoa, whoa! This one is so much more pigmented. Wow, I was not expecting that. Like you look at the top, it's supposed to be a little bit more pink than this. It's actually a pretty mauve color. It's actually really pretty, but you can see the pigmentation is like completely different. Ooh, that, that one actually smells delicious. Like really, really fruity. So let me know if you want me, me to do like just a half and half with like two of these, like comparing the YSL to uh, the palest one of these Sephora or just do a video with three of them. I'll let you know which one I think is more worth the money. Are they worth splurging? Are they not? First thing from YSL, so I have high hope, but we shall see. I'm probably gonna do this video in more than one part just because I'm still waiting for one order. Plus, uh, it's probably gonna be a very long video. Next product is something I've heard no one mention, but I've been looking for the perfect, like, great tone contour whenever I have fair skin because winter's coming up. I thought, why not? This is the Sephora Colorful. This is uh, in the blush uh, collection. This one is the color Tranquil, which is the number 26, which clearly is a contour color. Actually, it does say contour, but it is in the, uh, when you look for them, it's in the Sephora uh, blushes section. You actually can't open it fully, just FYI. And this is what the color looks like. It's very, very gray tone. I'm actually excited to compare it whenever I find the box with my NYX stuff. I feel like it's gonna be very similar to the color taupe that they have in the blush. It's very intense. I actually love the little uh, Sephora design on it. Let's swatch this first impression. It's actually very finely milled. Ooh, that's actually very, very gray. Okay, I'm gonna build it up, but it's actually very pigmented. Like, this is intense. Like, even my skin tone is gonna show up quite a bit. So, it seems like a great color. It's very, very great. We shall see. I'll let you know. I'll try it out. It probably include it whenever I do the video about fair skin makeup products. This might be in there. As you can see, this, uh, the YSL one, as you can see, it's starting to be a little bit more pink. So, whew, I was starting to believe that I like, just wasted my money, but maybe, maybe, we shall see. Maybe it will be more moisturizing. We'll see. I got one Christmas set. For once, I felt like there wasn't anything that I really wanted. I feel like a lot of gift sets, I was like, oh, I have that one thing, so maybe I won't buy the thing. One brand that I always get a gift set during Christmas has to be... First Aid Beauty. This is like one of my Holy Grail brand for like skincare and I wanted to try this one. It has two of my Holy Grail product and one thing that I've never tried so I thought that was the best time. First product I already have is the Lip Therapy which is the lip balm. I rave about this all the time. I did a video all about like lip care and this one is, this was one of those actually. 
I have one right here. So I probably have like, this is probably my fourth one. I'm not gonna use it. I really just wanted back up with the other one, but might as well. Maybe I'll give it to someone else, but probably just gonna keep it, hoard it as a backup. Let's be honest. What I really wanted to buy was this product, which is the Ultra Repair Cream. This is holy grail status for my legs and for my dry patches on my face. So they do have smaller ones than this, obviously. This one is really like one of the biggest size. It does say not for sale, but it's just because it's in the uh, gift set. This is amazing. If you have dry patches on your face or if you have a cold and you know your nose get really, really dry and just disgusting, you put this two nights in a row and it's gonna be gone. It's incredible, I love it. And during the winter, I also, I also, <laughs> I also tend to like scratch my legs like TMI, but I just tend to like scratch them until they bleed Which is really really bad and this is just a lifesaver whenever I forget to uh, Wear body lotion a few days in a row I just put this on and I'm just perfect again <laughs> and the product that I've actually never tried is the ultra repair wash Which is supposed to be a body wash that is moisturizing at the same time So maybe if I skip the cream once in a while I can use get away with just using this so I'll let you know if this is part of my holy grail too soon. I'm probably going to be doing a skincare routine really soon, but these products, the First Aid Beauty products are all in there, like the lip balm, the body lotion, and the face lotion. Highly recommend them. Actually, this is probably going to be, the face moisturizer is actually probably going to be next haul. And actually, I got a 100 point perks that I use for the body lotion. It does come in a small size that is a little bit bigger than this that you can buy. It's pretty affordable. I think it's like around $15. Still not cheap, but I mean, you get a good amount if you just use it on your face for dry patches. And 100 point perks, I probably have like five of those. As soon as I see it on the website, I always get something just to get this. But I love using these whenever I travel. I feel like it's amazing. So this was the part one of my Sephora haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing all the videos that I mentioned. So lip swatches of the uh, by Beauty. I will be comparing uh, these three together. Actually, yeah, this one is so much different. Like, it's so much more pigmented than these two. Probably will compare these two. And, uh, yeah, we're well, starting to be a little bit more pink. I will be testing uh, the contour, and I will let you know for the eyeliners. But like I said, if you're looking for the one perfect eyeliner, I would go with the slow one. It is more, uh, it's not the darkest black I've ever seen, but it is all around, like, overall the best eyeliner you can try. And I'm sure that everyone that has tried it, can attest that, yeah, it's the best one you can find. At least so far. I will be testing out more, obviously. I just don't stop there, but, but so far it's the one that I recommend every time someone asks me. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you got for this for sale or what you think I need that I didn't get. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.